Hello again, and welcome to episode 5 of my Technic Let's Play. My mouth, or my voice will probably sound a little odd, because I've been having, you know, I've been having problems with my throat drying out while talking, so I'm going, so I'm going to see if sucking on the, the wondrous power, or the wondrous treat of a lemon drop will help. And no, this is not just an excuse to, for, to eat more lemon drops. Now, let's see. When I left off, I was trying to get back to my little hill. I did not leave a waypoint at my little hill. Well, let's just see what. Let's see if I can get lost. Okay, let's see how badly I get lost. Another eight. Where is that going? Be free! Be free! I freed it. Let's see. More chicken. Ooh. Come on. And see this that repairing is actually in vanilla. It's kind of point it's still kind of pointless because you don't gain any more useless or uses from what you repair. Or you don't gain more uses from what you repair than what would happen if you just used up the items. I pretty much just did that to clear out inventory space. Which, if I had just used up the sword, would still happen, so I, I don't know. I use it to fill screen time, of course. Come on. Where are all these chickens coming from? Actually, I'm not going to complain. I need chickens. More snakes. See, uh, four python eggs and two green snakes. Okay. Oh, I didn't know green was a snake was a snake species. Oop! I started I started murmuring, or murdering, murdering. I started muttering to myself, huh? And you probably couldn't hear, right? Ooh. Oh, the bear's trying to get the sheep. The sheep suck. And I'm stuck. Well, I'm going to get, kill the bear because not only did he kill the sheep, but they can drop fish. Or fur. Okay. Let's see. Fur is unfortunately not another form of leather. It can be used to make armor that's equivalent to leather, but that's about it. You can't use it in place of leather for anything. Um, the armor itself is fairly ugly. It's I mean, it's not bad if you like the the wandering winter hermit thing kind of look, but eh. I suppose I could make a pair of UGG boots with it. It's still ugly, but this is fashionable ugly instead of just ugly ugly. Yay, there's four. More chicken.
Um, okay, sharks are interesting. If you kill them, you can get an egg, which after hatching, you get basically a water version of uh, wolves. So you don't have to feed it to keep it loyal. But more importantly, you can kill it to receive shark teeth, which are, can be used to make the old chainmail, which used to be made with fire. That was in, what, beta, I think? That, ooh! Can't believe I missed that. Ow, I missed the water. Is it? Yes! Yay! Okay. There's still a mushroom by a mushroom island here. Is it just, like just that little hill for an isle? No, it, okay. Maybe? Hmm. It looks like it's just this island. That's kind of disappointing, but... Actually, no. It's not disappointing at all because this is a mushroom biome. Mushroom biomes are awesome. Unless you're allergic to fungus, in which case they're probably not so awesome. Ooh. Whoa. Uh, I really don't like those sl slimes. Let me see. Oh, yeah. Now this is awesome. And, let's see, there's plenty of wisps. Wow, okay. That's a lot of wisps. That and the slime means this is probably fantastically high aura. Uh, whoa, hello, I thought that would have been flat. Oh, there's a fiery crystal. There's some exposed coal. Whoa, ow, 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 bad. Run, run. a lot of brown mushrooms. Come on. Ha! Take that. Okay. Oh, but I still want to do my under my awesome underwater thing. Huh. Oh. Well, as it turns out, the mushroom island part of the seed is fine because I rec I recognize a few of these formations, or I assume it's fine since I recognize a few formations. Unfortunately, oh. Now I can't decide if I want to do a, if I want to do my Shroom Island house or not. This is tough. Uh, well, let's look at land for land mass because well you can shape land to whatever you want to do, you want it to look like. It's a lot easier if it's already shaped how you want it. It's a large amount of marble. Yeah. Uh. Hmm. I am moo cows. Ooh. I really can't decide. Hmm. Actually. 
I now have made I have made a decision. I am going to continue with my underwater my under that's sli slime just suicide itself. Yeah. I'm gonna go ahead with my volcano with the volcano to underwater area. But I'm going to use the Thongcraft portals to use this area for something. I don't know what, I don't care what, because it's a mushroom biome. It's, co it's cool, so I will use it for whatever I want. Except for explosive testing. Because ex explosive testing on mushroom biome is just not cool. Think about, think about these poor mushrooms. Look at them. How could you hurt such a such a cute little thing? Ah! Come on, where is it? No, I don't want to kill the cow. Want to kill the slime? Okay, it's great that there's all these wisps. Wisps because that means it's a very a very high aura which I'm pretty sure they vary from seed to seed I I don't know for sure oh missed okay still don't know what I'm going to do with this I just know I'm going to it's going to be awesome. Uh oh. I really, really do not want to hit those wisps. The lightning they shoot hurts. A lot. I would not recommend taking on those wisps unless you have diamond armor. So anyways... Ah, if you'll notice, there's a zombie spawning. It's fortunately, the, host the hostile thongcraft, or these thongcraft zombies do count under the no hostiles for a mushroom biome. So, let's leave the waypoint here, and then go back to trying to, and then go back to trying to find my way back to my house. Well, back to my hill that's going to become a house. Mm -hmm. And I could do a nice underwater area here. So it's fairly large, but I do, I do want the volcano part too. The volcano part is major. So the no volcano is a deal breaker. I mean, mushroom is a great benefit, is a great bonus. That just doesn't make up for having, for not having a massive source of law. Oh man of lava for your power. To be fair, I will be. I think my main source of power will be what any self respecting red power engineer uses, and that's the water mills. Water mills in unmanned mode are terrible. I'm. At their best, they're still twice as good as solar panel. as basic solar panels. Which means they're still totally blown away by arrays, if you don't mind the fact that arrays, cro arrays cost so much. 
Um, however, if you have a bucket in a water mill, it generates two energy per, per tick, which, counting nighttime, is four times. Or, yeah, counting nighttime is four times what solar panels, what basic solar panels generate. And you get two per craft, which is roughly equivalent to a solar array, actually. But what I'm thinking is dar plenty of videos have used it, uh, including Direwolf, which, you know, which, you know, he's awesome. Basically, it's using a deployer, or you have one bucket for every water mill in the system, use a deployer to fill buckets in an infinite water source, Use a retriever to retrieve empty buckets. Um, a filter to prevent, to prevent the deployer from shooting out empty buckets just be, just in case. And you can actually use tin cable because water mills don't generate enough. Um, to, tin cable can hold up to five energy tick packets, which means which means that the way ha energy works in industrial craft, um, you can pretty much you hit reach the cutoff point for um, for when it starts losing energy with water mills. So that would be 39, I believe, and it still won't melt because every packet is still lower than its maximum. It's a lot of packets, but they only com they are only combined in a oh, energy storage device or transformer. So, anyways, the red power system reliably it can sustain 15 water mills. So that's 30 energy a tick, or yeah, roughly 30 energy per tick in total. Which tin cables will still carry, because once again, each it's in energy two or five. Yeah, it's in two en power en energy packets, or each energy packet is two energy, which is still less than the tin cables maximum. And I'm starving, and going to die from a zombie. I know what I said probably didn't make sense. Um, this is something that I'm a lot better at showing than telling. Cool, I got an iron helmet. I will not wear that, because I can use an alloy furnace from Red Power to smelt that down back into iron, and use it for much more useful things. But, anyways, solar panels? The basic panels are the nearly worthless. Wind power is better, and that periodically produces no power. So yeah, solar arrays, on the other hand, the basic low voltage array, well, well, they're very expensive, but the, they produce a massive amount of power. The high voltage array is pretty much one of the one of the only reliable ways to run a mass fabricator. I will be looking into an interesting design that uses combustion engines along with an oil fabricator and the energy or is it an energy link? I'm not sure. But anyways, uh, combine those. Oh. Hey, get back here. Need more chicken. But yeah, odds are I will actually be you know, or I will actually be using solar panels for 
for my mass fabricator. Mostly because nuclear nuclear reactors are still annoying. No matter how good you are with them, they're still annoying. Be on, pigs. Go back to your island, pigs. And it's almost daytime. So, I'm going to get these last few zombies. Because I really want as ma to get as many brains as I can while I'm out here. Along with these last few pigs. I want four more pork chops. Because coal and char once again, coal and charcoal. I will be using charcoal really. Cook it you know, cook in for eight items each. So whenever you cook something, you want the amount divisible by eight. So I need two more, and I got zero. Okay then. Well, fine. See you later.